Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I'm your IT career guide. In today's video, I want to do a follow up to the Google IT support professional certification review that I had done a few months ago. The Google IT support professional certification is one of the most popular certifications for people trying to get into information technology. And uh, in a certain way, it is competing with the A plus certification. But then again, it is not really because A plus is really a little more challenging compared to the Google certification. But let's have a look at really after I published that video previously, uh, what have people said about the certification? What I have I learned about the certification since then? And really, how can you benefit from it? So before we get into this video, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button and the like button, it will help me with YouTube. I would really appreciate it. So but now let's get started. So who is this certification really for? As mentioned before, this is an entry level certification, so you do not need any prior IT knowledge. Of course, it will be helpful if you have some sort of IT knowledge already, because it allows you to go quicker through the course or to have a better understanding of certain areas, specifically in the more challenging areas of this course. But overall, you do not need any prior IT knowledge to really get started with this course. And it is an entry level course, so it's really catering towards those new users coming into IT, people that are trying to get their first job in information technology, be it help desk or system administration. So why is the Google IT support professional certification for you? So this course really covers a lot of foundational knowledge if you want to work in information technology. Of course, it is geared towards a help desk role initially. But if you look at what the course has to offer, there are quite a few pieces in there that are really considered fundamental for your IT career. That is something that builds a foundation. So if you look at the IT networking, that's one of those things that carries over from help desk into system administration, network engineering, software programming. So there are so many areas where these things apply later on. So it's knowledge that you need to have a long term career in information technology that is successful, where you're not struggling all the time to go back to the basics, because that's really what it is. There are basics that you need to learn, and this course is covering it. So that's really where this course comes in helpful. This course is also for you if you really worked in IT several years ago, and then you left for whatever reason. And then you want to come back and just refresh your knowledge. So and that's really where this course also shines, because for one, it's low cost. And it really covers those basics. So it gets you back into the game. So really look at this course as a refresher, remind you about it, plus it adds value to your resume. And of course, this course is for you as well, because it is designed by Google. And it's not just another certification course. No, Google started uh, creating their own IT certifications because they are in need of highly skilled personnel. And Google also recognized this that by 2025, almost 40 or 50 percent of all knowledge workers need to be reskilled, meaning technology is changing around us so quickly that there is a high demand for people learning new skills. And so if you are coming from a non IT job and you're trying to get into information technology, this is one of those areas where you can get, I don't want to say a head start, but a good start into information technology. Find out if this field is for you, if it catches your interest, and if you really think, okay, this is something I want to go deeper, because then you can go and look at other courses or even a college degree if you wanted to. So let's quickly recap what this course is about. So first of all, it's teaching you the technical support fundamentals and includes troubleshooting concepts so that you really understand how to identify and analyze the problem and then go through several troubleshooting steps in order to narrow down the situation and potentially identify the solution to the problem. So this is a critical skill that you need almost anywhere in information technology. So don't underestimate the value of this. Then computer networking and computer operating systems are the next two chapters in this course. So in networking, I, I mentioned this in so many of my videos, it's one of those fundamental skill sets that you need to have. So pay close attention and really spend the appropriate amount of time in this course to go in. And then operating systems, it goes not just into Windows, but it also looks at Mac, so the Apple operating system and of course Linux. Linux is not really an end user operating system, so you will only get some limited value out of it. But don't underestimate having a solid understanding of at least those basics as well. 
Then it goes into system administration and infrastructure. And that's really where Linux, as an example, uh, is an important factor. And of course, there's Windows Server operating system as well. But understanding IT infrastructure and the different operating systems and how they interact with each other is a critical skill as well. So and this might interest you so that you develop that idea, okay, I want to go into system administration. And then last but not least, it's information security, where you really learn the basics about information security, how to protect a network, how to protect a computer, how to respond if there is an outbreak, if there is an incident. It's so critical these days. You probably heard in the news when companies get hacked, data is stolen or ransomware is uh, hitting their systems and now they cannot get back into the system. So information security is one of those most critical skills that you need to have. And this course gives you a good introduction so that you can really make informed decisions when you work in this field. So the quality of this course really is outstanding. And again, Google and Coursera have worked on more than one course. And these courses are not just another certification course. So there's a lot of high quality audio and video. There are quizzes involved that you can go through and then really verify that you have the right understanding, that you know what you learned. So it's really important. And the way how this course is designed and delivered really reflects the quality of this course. So I highly recommend it from that perspective. So here's some user feedback about the Google IT Support Professional Certification course at Coursera. So quite a few users have reported that they landed a job interview after passing this course and having the certification on their resume. So I think that's really encouraging that employers recognize the value of the certification. I do not know if these individuals landed that job. I mean, there's so much more that plays a role during uh, interviewing and what does the rest of your resume look like. But the fact that these individuals were certified and landed a job interview, I think is very promising and should give you that confidence that you're going after something that has substance and value. Other individuals reported feeling so much more confident after passing this course and completing it because now they really had that solid foundation that they needed. Some people went to take on the A plus certification and kind of had like a head start with the knowledge that they gained through the Google Coursera course here. So very good to hear that people really liked it. Then I found more user feedback on indeed.com and I want to go and show you some graphic here really where people reported back what happened after they had the Google IT support professional certification. 42% of the people that passed the Coursera course reported that they made more money after having this certification. So again, it shows that there's value. It's that employers recognize the value. When those new hires, as an example, go through the interview process and then negotiate a salary that they can demand higher salary. So I think that's really one of those promising items. Once you have the certification, you know you can get value out of it. And if you really look at the cost for this uh, course, it's like uh, there is a return on investment that uh, yeah, is out of this world in a certain way. The next thing that Indeed found was that 37% of the people asked reported, yes, they found a job because of this certification. I do not necessarily have the numbers behind this, but Indeed is a large career and job searching website. You know, there are hundreds of thousands of users on their website pretty much every day. And so I believe there's probably a good sample of people behind this number of 37%. So again, good value out of this. So I feel really that is something if you're not sure, this should convince you and to go after the certification. And then 94% of the people being asked recommend that people take this course. So they really liked how the course was built, the quality of the course, and that it delivered value. And 94% is a very high number. So you usually do not really see that many people supporting a product or service, or in this case, a certification course. After my previous review and after going through the feedback and doing some additional research on the course, I still believe this is a great value for you if you want to break into information technology. So again, Google is really doing this to get more qualified people into the job market. So teaching people a new skill so that people find the interest and identify, yes, this is a career I want to go after and then really take it to the next step. So from that perspective, I still believe there's a lot of value in here. 
you heard me talking about the numbers on indeed.com. And I think that's another good point really where 94% of the people recommend this course. So I think really long term, this is a good start to get into information technology. This is a good step if you have been out of the game and you want to get back into information technology for whatever reason. So refresh your knowledge and then use that to identify, okay, maybe you stay on the help desk and support side. There's a good career to be made. Or you want to go into systems administration and then take it to the next level. So again, this is where the course really shines. And if you look at it, the, the recommended time to complete this course is six months. The cost at Coursera is $49 per month. So you're looking at roughly $300 for the six month period or more 150 ish dollars or 180 depending on how long it takes you. So that's a very small investment for making a career change into one of the areas in the work market where you have above average salaries. That is my conclusion in this case. I really like this course. I think you will get value out of it. So if you have not looked at it, please take a look and identify if that is something you want to go after. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked what I presented here about the Google IT support professional certification. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. I would really appreciate it. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.